In today's video, we're going to be checking out Whale Sync, which is an automation tool that allows for two way data syncing between Webflow, Airtable, and a whole bunch of other tools. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a no-code automation tool that a lot of people have told me about called WhaleSync. WhaleSync is a no-code automation tool that makes it really easy for you to keep your databases in sync. So if, for example, you're using Airtable as your base to contain Webflow data, WhaleSync will make sure that whenever you make changes inside of Webflow, that it stays up to date inside of Airtable and vice versa. Now, I personally use automation tools like Make or Zapier to set up my connections where I send data to and from different platforms, but admittedly, it is also a little bit more intense. There are a lot of different moving pieces and you definitely need to have a little bit of experience with automation tools to make that happen. So if you are just looking for a simple way to connect two databases to each other, then a tool like WhaleSync might be a really great solution. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick little demo of how WhaleSync works on an example that I just set up for a real estate website. Then I'm going to show you how you can set it up inside of WhaleSync. And then I'm also going to give you the pros and cons of using syncing tools like this. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's dive straight into it so I can show you how WhaleSync works in action. Okay, so let's imagine we have created this real estate website for a client and we want to give them the ability to change some of the information about their listing. Now, there are a few different ways that you can do it. You can either give them access to your Airtable base, which is what I typically do, or alternatively, you can actually just give them access to the Webflow editor and they can make changes inside of the Webflow CMS themselves. Now, if that were the case, the way it would work is that you simply give them access they can then jump into their collections click on the real estate listings and then they can just click into an item and then start making whatever changes they want so if you want to increase the square footage if you want to change the type of heating all that type of stuff you can simply let them do it in here they can click on the save button and then as soon as they hit the publish button it will automatically publish those changes to your webflow site now, one of the issues with this is that in the past, uh, if a client would make a change like that, it wouldn't necessarily update that information inside of Airtable. And so there will always be a disconnect between the two platforms. And so now with a tool like WhaleSync, you'll see that if you make a change to a particular listing, like I just did, that it will automatically update all of the information as it is inside of the Webflow CMS. Now, the same thing works the other way around. So let's take, for example, Bakersfield Drive. If we go and have a look at our listing inside of here, we can see it is 833 Bakersfield Drive. If I now go ahead and change that to say 111 Farmerville Drive, uh, or let's call it Farmerville Street, we can then just wait a second and what will happen is WhaleSync will just jump in here and automatically update that particular listing with the information. And so you can see here, you might have to wait a few seconds for it all to come through. But just like that, the uh, information for this particular listing was updated. And this is super handy because now with a tool like this, you don't need to really worry about one source of truth anymore because they both keep each other up to date at any given time which means that if you decide that you want to quickly make some changes inside of the editor you can do that without having to worry about things breaking or things being different across all of your different platforms now the setup is actually pretty straightforward i had to play around with it before and i had no issues with it all you need to do is connect uh, sign up to WhaleSync for starters then you'll be redirected to this dashboard and then you can simply connect your apps to WhaleSync. so let's say for example we want to sync Airtable to webflow i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to select Airtable. we can then authorize it it will then ask you for your api key and for the um, base sharing link which you can find by simply going up here clicking on share selecting the share publicly link and then just copying this value over into your site just like that and then you've pretty much connected your Airtable base so next you'll want to create a connection to your webflow site which works in a very similar way you'll automatically get redirected to all of your sites that are available as soon as you've authorized your app you'll then see that you can select your site so all we need to do is save our connection and that is pretty much the first step done now we can move on to mapping our tables now mapping our tables is pretty straightforward first of all we want to select what table belongs to which one so in Airtable, my properties table belongs 
to the real estate listings CMS collection. Now you can map multiple tables at the same time. So if you are using things like linked reference fields, then you definitely want to connect those to each other. So in this case, I have a linked reference field to my district. You can just select that in here and you can now also select the district field inside of the Webflow CMS. And now that we've got these two synced up, we can now also decide whether or not we want it to be a two way sync or if we want it to be a one way sync. So let's say, for example, we only want to use Airtable as our source of truth. Then what we want to do is we want to change our arrow to be pointing from Airtable over to Webflow. And what that will mean is only when we make changes inside of Airtable, will those updates be sent to Webflow? The other way around works as well. So let's say, for example, whenever we make a change inside of the Webflow CMS, we want those updates to be reflected inside of Airtable. And so that is basically how you set that up. You just point it in the other direction. But obviously, um, if you want to do it like that, automations tool kind of allow you to do that. What Whale Sync does really well is the two-way sync, where it basically looks at both sides and then based on something happening in any of those fields, updates it either way. And so I'm gonna leave the two-way sync on for both my um, properties table and my districts table. Now, as soon as you've got that set up, then it's just all about mapping fields. And so the way it works is it will pull in all of your databases and then it's just a matter of configuring it. Now, typically what I found is um, this is really good at mapping fields to each other. So it will automatically detect if you have the same name inside of Webflow and Airtable and then map them based off that. Sometimes it won't detect all of the fields in the event that you, for example, have different names. So for me, inside of Airtable, the name of the field that contains all of the addresses is building. And inside of Webflow, that field is called name. So what I want to do is I just want to select the name field and then I want to map that up with the field inside of Airtable called building. And just like that, you've managed to sync up all of the different fields, including linked reference fields, which automatically map up as well. And as soon as that is done, all you need to do is save your base and that will then create your two-way sync. Now, for the sake of this demo, I have deleted all of my collection items out of the real estate listing CMS collection. So if we jump back onto our listing page, you'll see that there are no items in there right now. So now what I wanna do is now that I've created it, I actually wanna enable the sync. And so you'll see here, backup, whatever, all that kind of stuff. You turn on the syncing and then what will happen is it will initialize the sync and then start sending data over. Now, while we're waiting for this to happen, there are a few really cool things that you can find inside of Whale Sync. First of all, there'll be a log of different issues that come up. And so if, for example, there is something that we have seen here, so it says here, we Weblock cannot create this item because the value has an existing slug. It will just automatically tell you what the issue is. And so the reason why this issue has come up is because I first have to publish my sites um, with all of the deleted collection items, but then we're pretty much good to go again. So you'll see that um, it will automatically tell you what the issues are. Um, and then as soon as that is done, it will retry it and it will kind of make it run. It also has logs. And so it will basically tell you what it's done. So whether or not it's created or updated certain things. So you'll always be able to see what is happening, what workflows are running inside of WhaleSync using the issues tab and the logs tab. Okay, so this pretty much runs immediately. So if we go ahead and we check out my uh, CMS, you can see that all of these listings have been added you can see my image has been added and everything if we go back to the listings page you can see how all of my properties have been added and we're pretty much good to go now again now that this is all set up we can just leave it turned on and whenever we make changes it will pretty much update in real time and so let's go ahead and um let's change the address from 18th oh let's change it from yeah 18th ave to 18th street and this update will pretty much happen immediately. So if we go and have, it out, have a look at our log, you'll see how it immediately updates it and you'll be able to see in here what changes were made and so on. And so you'll see those changes reflected inside of the CMS as well. So if we jump in here and we hit the refresh button, you'll be able to see that the information for that particular 
listing has changed as well. And it's a really handy way to just immediately make changes inside of your CMS. And so specifically for examples like this, two-way syncing is a really great tool. So overall, what are my thoughts on WhaleSync? I think WhaleSync and similar syncing tools are really useful for specific use cases. So if you are really just using something like Webflow and Airtable to basically run a database, then having a tool like this will save you so much time not having to go through the process of setting up things in Zapier and Make and so on. So that is definitely something worth doing. I have actually seen a few projects that have used WhaleSync to set up really fancy directory sites. So there are definitely people out there using them. Now, the downside of it is is that sometimes your workflows might use more than just those two tools so for example whenever i create a cms item or i update a cms item on the unicorn factory there are additional steps that i need to take for example updating metadata inside of member stack or sending a freelancer a confirmation email that the changes have been made now i'm pretty sure there will be ways to work around and fire webhooks based on certain events happening like a record being updated but again I do like the tinkering quite a bit. So if you are someone who's like into setting up more advanced complex workflows, then this might, uh, here might not necessarily allow you to do some of the things that you typically like to do. With all of that being said, I think that if you want to basically use things like Notion or Airtable or Shopify in connection with each other, then this is a super easy way to get started. It will be in sync with each other. I think the whole setup process for me was super easy to get the hang of. So you don't even really need to know that much about automation. And so I think it's pretty awesome. Overall, it really comes down to your own personal preferences. I personally haven't used that many syncing tools simply because I have got a lot of my workflow set up in all of the different tools that I learned in the first place. These syncing tools have really become a bit of a bigger thing over the last year and so anyone who's just getting into automation should definitely check this out just because it will give you a really good idea of how different fields are connected to each other and so on now uh, they do cover pretty much all of the fields that you would typically have to sync when sending data from Airtable to Webflow and so that is something you don't have to worry about either so overall cool project definitely worth checking out um, I'll leave a link to WhaleSync in the description down below other than that thank you so much for sticking around for the entire video and I'll see you back here for the next one